I'm just going to actually create a pressure profile with the creme. Um, this is a, a new coffee I've got, so I'm not really sure about the grind. I've chosen a grind level I think will be about right. So the first thing I do in creating a profile will be to press the brisk button and I get this. Now it's B with a lever. I can now just run a manual profile. I don't have to save it. I could just go back to the home screen with that and just be done with it. But if I like the profile I've created, then I can save it. And I'm going to show you how I do that. So I make sure my scales are set so you get the right output that I want because I don't rely on the volume shown here on the flow meter. And then I decide my where I'm going to start my pressure. I'm going to start at about on this just over one bar. I've got it in 0.2 bar increments. You can change that up to half bar increments if you want uh, less one click to do 0.5 of a bar, you can. I like to keep the fine resolution and I can always hand tune these later on on the PC if I want to. So 1.2 bar is where we're going to start. I'm going to lift the lever and then you watch the screen. So I lift the lever, the pump starts and I'm watching in the reflective screen, you can't see it. I'm watching the shower screen and for this profile I'm going to wait until I see uh, sweating across the shower screen. The coffee beginning to sort of bead out across the bottom. Just a gentle sweat because a lot of that 52 mil or 50 mil has been filling the void in the top of the portafilter and that's just starting to, the holes are just starting to darken as it sweats across the holes and I'll just wait for it to go evenly. This is the sort of soak period. Now I'm going to raise the pressure, not too quickly. I'm going to gradually raise it to about eight bar. And I'm watching the volume and I'm getting to 27 grams. I'm dropping it 32. There we go. Now that's my profile. It's extracted 36. Now, I don't mind that because I can always end it early. I had 17 grams of coffee. Now it says, it gives me a slot test one. I don't want to save it into that. So I'm going to save it into, I like Dave T1. That's a favorite recipe of mine. But I'm going to, I could bin it and try again. But I'm going to save this one into, let's have a look at test one, see what that is. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to use recipe two, which is a profile, Dave T1. That's a seven bar quick set profile. That'll just take me straight up to seven bar. I'll save it in recipe five. So there's nothing in there. Well, there is, but I'm not going to use recipe five. So I'll save it. And that saved that profile in recipe five. Now, if I go back, I could do another profile, but let's say I go back and go to recipe five. There's the profile that did a very long run up to eight bar, then tapering down a little bit at the end. And press the information button again. Right, um, I saved the profile and I'm now going to make another coffee. It's been a few minutes. I'm going to use exactly the same profile, recipe five. I haven't named it yet. Um, let's see if I like it and if I want to bother with the renaming. I would normally do the renaming in the computer, but I'll show you quickly how recipes are renamed here. So let's run this profile. Keep a close eye on that part of the screen. So we lift the lever. Do you remember we had, oh, I forgot, made a mistake. I should press the button first, press the brisk button. Now I lift the lever and here's my profile. And can you see the milliliters are counting down? And it was about 50 mil where it started to sweat out the screen. So that had filled all the voids. And you can see it's just pumping away. I think it was about 50-ish. So after it does its 50 mil of liquid, it'll then start to boost the pressure up. And it's still going, it's starting to sweat across a little bit. There it goes. And I, if you remember, I started to raise the pressure about this point, gradually, all the way to eight bar. 
but actually I went a little bit above and then I dropped it down. And then I realised I was coming near my volume limit and started to lower the pressure and there's the lower lever. And as you can see, I'm actually I've got a gram more this time, possibly a little bit slow, but effectively pretty much the same weight. And if I bring the two cups out, if um, this is the one I've just done in my left hand, it's the one I did earlier. I don't know if you can see, but the weights are pretty much the same, all to within a gram of each other. And what I do find with this machine, once I'm profiling like this, uh, I can actually dispense with the scales a lot of the time. I do like to keep them there as a check because on this profile, once the pressure started rising, it started to fill fairly quickly. So I could sit there and tighten the grind in the grinder and perhaps get pretty much the same volume, but a different taste. And that's the beauty of this, what I call adaptive pressure profiling, profiling by volume rather than by time. Um, anyway, I hope that's given you an insight into how you program, manually program a profile in and how you use them. Oh, if I want to uh, name the profile, oh, and uh, excuse the handheld nature of this, but I just want to show you how you set the name of a profile. So we use the Brister knob to set the profile we want, recipe five, that's the one I created. And what I have to do, here, and it, press and hold the knob, and I'll wait about four or five seconds and it flashes. And now I can change the name of the profile I made. So let's call it, I select the letter. I mean, I, I lose the will to live doing this. Um, so I'll call it D. Uh, D A. And I press the button each time and I, I get a letter. So I'll just DA underscore. Now I can then keep pressing it and eventually I get a new recipe name. Now I'll be honest, I, I never name the recipes on the machine. It's just too much aggravation. I'll actually um, copy the file to USB, which um, I'll just quickly do and name it on the PC. So let's just press that to copy it to USB. There's the USB symbol. Logo, as remember, I remember down is to the machine. Up is to the USB. Press return. And there it is, it's done. Here's my USB key on its extension. I'll just take that with me and uh, use the computer to update it. So I've loaded the USB key into my computer and uh, I actually keep some subdirectories with my different recipe files stored in it. But the two files the CREM makes is the export1.txt and the import1.txt. And of course, when I exported those recipes, it created this file, exp1.txt. I'm gonna delete this one because I don't need it. And if I open it up, you can see the profiles in, in there. I'm gonna scroll down to the recipe five where I lost the will to live. Okay, now it says index four because the indexes go naught to four for the five recipes. And I'm just gonna make this, whatever I wanna call it, up to eight letters. So uh, if I put Dave, I use capitals Dave. Uh, let's call it B Brazil one. Just check it's eight letters. It can be less, but it mustn't be more than eight letters. I can now save that. And the last thing I've got to do before I can import it is copy it and rename it uh, again I'll do it capitals I don't think it matters but just in case 
and I rename it impone.txt or imp1.txt. When I go back to the machine, I simply run an import of that USB key and that will change the name of that profile. Okay, I've put the USB key back into the CREN. We're going to run an import now. So we'll just go to the USB symbol, which is that one. Press down. So we now want to go from the USB key down to the machine. Hit return. Look for OK. That's good. Come back to the main menu now. And that name I gave it should be there. So there it is, Dave BR1, which is the profile I created. And for me, a much easier way of naming the file on the machine. I also um, could have fine-tuned that profile. I could have actually um, cleaned it up. You know where I went a little bit above 8-bar? I could have actually cleaned that up to be exactly 8-bar. And I could have also started dropping the pressure earlier. But that's sort of for another video, and that's more advanced use of the machine. And uh, outside the scope of the review, I'm doing.